Kidney stones is related to losing calcium from your bones, which is being deposited in your kidneys and flushed out as hard crystals, being super painful. So the high dose of calcium could be the cause from certain foods and or supplementing and things will get worse in time and it does take some time to accumulate in the kidneys. So in your case, you have to worry about calcium and oxalates from vegetables. And there's roughly about 17 nutrients essential for healthy bones, including magnesium along with calcium. And this deposits um, end up in the kidneys, uh, joints, promoting arthritis and of course contributing to kidney stones. Uh, recommended daily intake of magnesium would be 450 milligrams um, for prevention. But if you are totally deficient, saturation of the cells is required with magnesium to hit in the upper 5 milligrams per deciliter when testing your RBC magnesium. When magnesium is consumed, it stimulates a hormone, calcitonin, that helps to uh, preserve bone structure and draws calcium out of the blood and soft tissues back into the bones, preventing uh, kidney stones and or arthritis. In addition, magnesium surpasses another bone hormone called parathyroid hormone, prevent it from breaking down bone. And it converts vitamin D into the active form so that it can help with uh, calcium absorption. Also, some individuals use vitamin K2 along with magnesium as it enhances the process. But if you eat plenty of aged cheese, I would not worry about supplementing K2.